Hi, we're the team from Blackheath Cooks, a cook shop and cookery school in South East London. My name's Joy. My name's Alice. I'm Sarah. And we're going to show you a fun, easy recipe. Hi, so we're going to show you how to make bread dough. Very, very simple bread dough. Um, it's really important to use strong bread flour. We're using white today, but you can use wholemeal or brown or granary. As long as your flour is strong, you can use a mixture of any type of strong flour you like. Right, so as I say, we've got 350 grams of um, strong white bread flour into here. We're going to add half a teaspoon of salt and into um, into the flour at this stage we can also pour our sachet of yeast. You do need to make sure you get all the yeast out because there's seven grams in this sachet and it's a, an important measurement for, for these quantities. So all the dried yeast into the bowl. Um, into the jug, as I say, we've got warm water in here. It's important that it's warm water. Um, if it was too hot, it would kill the yeast. If it was too cold, then the yeast wouldn't activate and wouldn't work for us. So it's important that it's kind of warm, tepid water. So 250 millilitres of warm water. I'm then going to add a spoon of runny honey. The runny honey is just easier to kind of measure out. So about a spoon's worth in there. So you stir it until it's completely dissolved in the water. That's why we like honey, because it dissolves a bit faster than sugar. We're going to pour that into the flour and we want to see bubbles, okay? The bubbles are a good sign because it shows that the, um, the yeast is going to work for us. So say so I've got some bubbles there. And I'm going to use a fork for mixing the, um, the dough um, as opposed to wooden spoons. It's just slightly easier to use a fork. I'm just going to incorporate the the liquid into the flour as much as possible. So you're ending up here with quite a sticky dough um, and that's good. Actually a sticky dough is harder to work with but makes a much softer, um, fluffier bread and we're aiming for quite a, a soft bread roll that we're going to make with this dough today. Yeah, so I'm going to put some kind of flour just on my hands and on the worktop where I'm going to be kneading. And I'm going to turn the uh, dough out onto my Worktop, and then as I say, I'm going to start kneading. Um, now, people have different ways of kneading. I personally prefer just to kind of push down with the palm of my hand and sort of fold it in half. I'm pushing down and folding it in half again. Um, I'm working quite quickly just so that it doesn't have time to, to stick to my hands too much. If it does become a bit sticky, add a bit of more flour, but avoid adding too much because too much flour can just dry out your dough a bit too much. So I'm just adding enough just so it's workable. So I've been kneading now for about five minutes and what's happened is that my dough has gone nice and smooth and um, just to kind of show that the gluten is going to kind of work for us is when I sort of just press my thumb in it should be nice and springy. Put your dough into the bowl, cover it tightly with cling film so that no air gets to it and then you need to leave that in a warm place until it's doubled in size. Now Here's some that we made a bit earlier. Um, you can see the cling film's kind of puffed up a little bit and you've got condensation on the other side of the cling film. Now, this has actually been left slightly too long and you'll be able to see, when you take the cling film off, the dough's got nice and puffy and risen up. It's easily twice the size of that one. Um, but you can see it's just starting to collapse in on itself a little bit. And that is absolutely fine, but once it gets to that point, you do need to move it on to the next stage. So, this is the same amount of dough as this one, it's just had about an hour in a warm place to rise. So I'm just going to um, take the dough out of the, um, the bowl and slightly disheartening, we're now going to knock that air out of the dough, it's called knocking back. So I'm going to give it another kind of quick knead, not like we did before, not for five minutes, just a quick knead to knock some of the, the air out of that dough. So Sarah's just knocked it all back for a minute or two, not even a minute. Um, and she's now rolling it into a sausage just because that's the easiest way to divide it into eight equal pieces. So now I've got my eight kind of even sized pieces of dough. The easiest way to make a piece of dough into a nice smooth roll is to flatten it out, put it in the palm of your hand and gather the dough from the outside into the middle and then you should end up with a nice smooth roll like that. So the best way to get your rolls looking golden and shiny without overcooking them and burning them um, is to brush the tops with a little bit of beaten egg. 
So you just pop an egg into a measuring jug, give it a mix, it doesn't have to be brilliantly beaten, just mixed up a bit, and then use a pastry brush to brush the tops of each one with some beaten egg. And then what we're going to do is sprinkle the top of each bread roll with some seed. So you're just putting egg on the tops, you're not putting egg around the sides and underneath, you just want it on the bit that will make it golden. And actually it also helps the seeds to stick on when you put them on. They're going to go in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for between 10 and 15 minutes, depending on how powerful your oven is. I reckon these will need about 12 minutes. So our bread rolls have had about 13, 14 minutes in the oven and you can see they're nicely risen and golden brown on top. So... If you make your rolls with brown flour or wholemeal flour, they will take a little bit longer to cook. But I think these are about perfect. The way to test is to get your biggest roll, turn it over and give the bottom a tap with your finger or your fingernail. If it sounds quite hollow, then it's done. So um, we're going to put these onto a cooling rack to cool down. Um, if you just leave them to cool down in the air, they'll develop a bit of a crunchy crust. If you prefer your rolls to be really soft, then as soon as they come out of the oven, get a clean tea towel and just cover them up. And then as they cool, they'll steam a little bit and then that crust won't develop. You'll end up with a nice soft roll. So that is your bread dough, bread rolls. Very easy. Start to finish in an hour, hour and 20 minutes, depending on how warm your kitchen is. And that is how to make bread dough.